It's 9.30 on Sunday. I can't believe it's 9.30. I can believe it. I know why it's 9.30. I go to sleep till 2. Why was I up so late? Freaking watching 1883. I could not stop watching that show. It's so good too. Is it as good as Yellowstone? No, but it is good. Um, I have a lot to do today. I have a lot to do today. I'm tripping. Um, I've got, I need to clean, get organized. My stomach is growling. I said I was going to go to the gym today. Uh, today I only did... Today I only did 3,200 3, steps. I usually do well over 10,000 steps when I go to the gym. So I've got to make up for that. Anyways. I have to water plants. Why does Monty's aerial roots have the shit on him? Oh my gosh. Oh no. And did I mention I have to clean? I need to clean so I need to get up and get going I'm Erica also known as Emonique and this is my real life hang out with me as I side-eye the ups and stumble through the downs watch as I turn my tiny piece of the Arizona desert into a tropical oasis fight to beat infertility, and figure out where I fit as an artist in this crazy creative world. All while awkwardly discovering my authentic self. I'll be talking out loud about the things I wish someone would have said a while ago and sorting through what I wish I didn't know. Who knows? Maybe you can relate as I often ask myself.
Monty. Why does Monty's aerial roots have the shit on him? Oh my gosh. Oh no. Figure this out. Who's in the tub right now? Trey and Mads are in the tub right now. to do now. Monty is soaking. The other two are sprayed. The other three are sprayed. Before I can move everybody back, I need to get Monty taken care of. In the meantime, take care of seven Seven has to go in the shower. She's just too big. And I need a good a good spray. Yeah, she has to go in the shower. Fuck. What happened today? Okay, I need to take a break. I need to eat. I haven't eaten. I'm not going to lie. I'm not quite sure what I was expecting uh, with this deep clean today, but deep clean turned nightmare. And I'm trying not to panic. I'm trying not to like spiral out of my mind, but uh, I think the biggest thing that's like surprising me and upsetting me is that one of my favorite plants, the bigger plants that I was hoping would not catch this problem, has had the problem. I don't know for how long. It's like the mealybugs hide from me. Like they weren't anywhere on the, the side of the plant where I could see that I usually tend to. They like almost deliberately went to the back side of the plant, the back side of the aerial roots to like start a fucking colony. And I could not see that. And 
not just on the aerial roots, but I do see them on some of his back leaves too, which infuriates me. <sighs> Everything else is to be expected. So right now I'm dealing with Monty, my Monstera has it. Seven, my Bird of Paradise has had it. And I've been like, I can clearly check on her every day to kind of see but they are slowly creeping back, the smaller ones. So they're like babies that are like hatching and coming back out. So I've kind of known that she's had it. Um, Mads has it, which makes sense because he was hanging right on top of um, Monty. Um, and like, I had another um, Monstera, Adansonii that was beautiful that was like lush and full and had big leaves I had it in my bedroom and that plant had the mealybugs really bad if I'm not mistaken that could have been ground one for it it could have been that plant or it could have been it had to have been that because that was the newer plant the other one that I had in my room that broke out really badly was my other uh pothos but i've had both of these pothos for a very very long time and this is the first time that i'm having this issue the monstera adansonii was a newer plant and it got so bad that i could not do anything with and it just it i it's no longer with us um like the worst that i've ever seen a plant with an infestation like that gone I really believe that that Adansonia was like ground zero and then it infected everything else. So to see that my other small piece of Adansonia that I've had for years and like it died and then I brought it back and like it's never had this problem. The fact that it has this problem now is upsetting me because it didn't originally. It came from something else and it's really hard to get those out of Swiss cheese plants because they're so fine and okay there's that one this guy right here um he's hanging on by a thread as it is who else has it probably helix and hera probably i'm gonna spray them down i didn't see anything yet but probably um birdie the birkin has it and so far, even though I cleaned her and sprayed her again, I haven't seen anything, but I know she had it at some point. So they're probably still here. Um, Dre has it really bad. This is my second or third spray and like wash and spray. So, oh, <laughs> and Gaia, the one that's like dying really bad back there, she's covered in it. So at this point, I don't even know if it's worth or possible to save her. She's covered in, like I went back there to vacuum and like wipe up around the pot and the bottom of the pot where all the leaves are or the vines are coming out is covered in mealybugs. I know that she is not the originator of it. She's just been affected by Dre probably because Dre sleeps right next to her, like right next to her. So I know it's Dre's fault, but She's covered in mealybugs and she's already sick and viney and skinny and I just, like, I think I'm gonna lose Gaia. I think I'm gonna have to just throw her away, which breaks my heart because if I had footage of like how it started and where we are now, it would break your heart too. She, it, I, I can't. So, and I'm not going to risk a reinfestation because I'm trying to save my pothos. You know what I mean? So, she's gone. I'm gonna have to get rid of her. And probably today, since I have everything broken up and out, I'm gonna have to get rid of her. She needs a whole separate trash bag because I cannot drag her through this apartment and then like put her in the garbage like, <sighs> But this is what I wanted. I wanted to deep clean and I just, of course, had to do this on a Sunday and right before I leave out of the country. 
Um, yeah. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Overall, overall, majority of the plants are doing wonderful. I'm super proud of them. They had a really awesome growth, growth season. Um, overall, I am happy, but I am terrified that another one of my, like I'm getting down to my favorites and I don't want them to die because of this fucking problem. <sighs> Anyway, I just had to say that. I'm warming up food now. I'm going to sit down and just try to chill out.
was definitely root bound. Definitely root bound. Oh, but I knew that. I knew that shit. Oh, got it out. Okay. All right, Gaia. Rest in peace, baby girl. Um, she was like in a bad way. Root bound. Like, that's all roots. All roots. And they were like, yeah. Yep. Okay. Well, I love you and you were beautiful. And I loved having you while you were here. But it just, I can't do it anymore. So, let's. Do that. This bag needs to go in another bag immediately. Don't touch anything. Don't spray it also. Okay. Okay. We've got packages to open because how about there there was stuff in my mailbox i forget that but also they could have said that rather than saying hey we lost your package on one order and hey we couldn't get into the building on a second order and i canceled both of those orders like why wouldn't you just say hey we just put them in your mailbox one of my orders did say that, and that's this one. So, let me see if these are cute. These are the bralettes that I ordered. Okay, these, these might do the trick. I ordered, I got a bralette, a single one, the other day, and I just tried it on last night, and I'm like, okay. This will do. And I think these will too. These are like really cute. These are cute. How much were these? These are cute and they'll match my underwear. Oh yes, child. I like, I'm not a regular bra. I'm not doing that again. Unless I get one Victoria's Secret bombshell for special occasions. But these, oh yeah. I don't have but little nuggets anyway, so I don't need anything crazy. But these are soft and they're they're cute. I like the colors. Yep. That's a yes for me. Okay, I guess I can show you these because they're not too crazy. I don't know if you can tell the color. This is like a green. Like a, not even a sage, but like an ashy green color. And then I got this, like a mauve, pretty. And then this lighter color one just came with the set. So it's not white, it's like a light peachy color. So that's that. Move that down. I don't need that. Now, what is this? What, where? Oh, I know what this is. This is an Amazon. This is, um, this is my birth control. I forgot I ordered, um, through my pharmacy, like another three months worth of birth control. And in the meantime, I had just ran down to the local pharmacy to get the pack for right now. So I wouldn't miss any, um, miss any days. That's what this is. Cause I was like, what? Okay. So my mistake, Amazon still has lost my shit. The other two things. Okay. Those are meds. Now. I got more, what am I, did I open these? 
I did. I opened them and I opened them. I'm not going to return those other underwear because they are cute, but I did find the actual underwear that like I ideally want. So I have plenty of underwear now. Like my whole underwear collection, collection, my whole underwear drawer is totally redone. I got me some Calvin Klein's because I do love Calvin Klein underwear. They are good. So I got a pack of Calvin's in some really cute colors. I don't know if you can see from here, like a, a light blue, a gray, and a dark navy blue. And then I got some Dan skins. Dan skins are so freaking comfortable. I didn't think I was ever going to be able to find more Dan skins because they are kind of hard to find. Um, and they don't really sell them online, which is weird. So um, I found some. I got a four pack. And they're also in the really pretty neutral colors. I told you I'm on my neutral warm colors. So good on that. I got much needed belts for my current trousers and the new trousers that I got. So I got a three pack, a black one, uh, like a yellowish leather one and then a brown leather one so i really need these um got those and then a new scent i love 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 all of the nest scents and i just don't have a lot of perfume anymore one because i just don't and two because i've been like really like chill on the whole fragrance tip but i just like i miss my perfume my quality i don't do body sprays unless they're gifted to me um but i just don't have a lot of like perfume and scents anymore like i don't know i used up my entire collection and then i just stopped getting them as gifts and i just i don't know i have a is it Gucci? No, I have the Ver I have a Versace that I use very sparingly because I use the other bottle up. And I have another scent that is almost gone. And then my body oil is pretty much gone. And the place that I usually get my body oil is closed. So I'm just like, I don't have. So I got a scent, especially for my trip. It's a nest and it's just like a little travel size. I don't know if this is a roller or just a spray. I hope it's a roller and it's a spray. Oh, but it smells so fucking good. Oh, it smells so good. The nest scents are so sexy. I love a warm, sexy scent. Before I found this one, I was going to get the Gucci Guilty because Gucci Guilty does the job also. I was going to get that one, but then I saw this and I'm like, mm, mm, mm. I'll go with this. So the it's the Nest New York and this is Citrine. Oh, I could just like roll in it. Mm -hmm. So into this place for one thing. What did I go in here for? Oh, so one of, again, one of the orders that I was expecting and needed for the trip specifically was a mosquito repellent, a bug repellent. Um, it was like a, a set of two, but it was like, it's like a balm, right? I really wanted that from a specific brand. And so once I canceled that order, I was like, where can I get that particular brand locally? The only people that had it, I mean, it was right across the street from me. So I went there to get that specifically. But they didn't have, well, she ended up finding the balm, but I guess I misread it because online it looked like a normal size balm. And when she found it, it was like, like this. And I'm like, I'm not paying $8 for this, especially when online you get like two big ones. Anyways, but then they also had just like the spray oil so i just ended up getting this like i feel like i get more bang for my buck this is the murphy's natural 
uh, lemon eucalyptus oil and it's mosquito and tick repellent. And so it's got, I thought it had more than lemon and eucalyptus. I had, I thought it had, maybe the balm had all that other shit, but it's all like natural essential oils. Okay, so Murphy's Naturals Lemon Eucalyptus Oil Mosquito and Tick Repellent repels mosquitoes and ticks so you can enjoy life outdoors. Repels mosquitoes that may carry Zika virus for up to six hours. Provides four hours of protection against deer ticks, which may transmit Lyme disease. Repels Lone Star and Brown Dog ticks for more than eight hours. I don't know what all of those are, but I got it specifically for mosquitoes but I just thought it had more natural oils in it. I'm pretty sure the other one had that list of shit. In any case, I'm really hoping and praying that it works because I do not want to be eaten alive. Strong, strong, stinky smell. So this is probably what I'm gonna be smelling like while outdoors. So that, but while I was in the store also, of course I came up on Things were on sale. Everything's on sale right now. So, or on clearance. So this has nothing to do with anything. I just, I really like the bottles themselves. And they were $4. And I like this brand. So this is a like lotion dispenser and I'm thinking like my office I'm thinking about here but I just like this cute color blue and it's a glass bottle and it can be reused that's what I love reusable things so this was on sale for four dollars and this is just a hand lotion by Addison Gates and I like Addison Gates all her scents are bomb I almost got a body oil from from her and it's a really light pretty scent I don't know how long it lasts, but again, I mostly got it because of this bottle. So I'm gonna decide if I wanna take this one to work or not. Probably, because I got two. The other one is the same thing, but it's yellow. And I actually like this scent better. Um, so this is the yellow one and it's called Orchid Blush. And this is, has a really nice warm scent. So I'm definitely going to keep this one here at home. Oh, it smells so freaking good. So freaking good. Yeah. I'm going to keep this one and put it on my kitchen, on my kitchen sink. It smells so good. They're lo lotions. And then... Today I had a, a, a spirally shopping day. Like I had a decent day, but I just was like, I need a little retail therapy, just a little. Everything that I got today was on sale. Everywhere that I went. Um, this means absolutely nothing except for it was on sale for $3 and I didn't, I don't think I've said it before, but my plan is to swap out all these ugly little plastic trays that go in the bottom of my plants, the watering trays. Let me show you. The plan is to replace all of these with these because I think it's just more stylish. It's reusable, like I can wash them. Um, they're just prettier. And I got this idea from when I ordered my, my dishes, they kept coming back broken and chipped and I kept sending them back. Well, there was one bowl, a flat bowl, that was just chipped. And so I was like, how can I use this? And so I put it under one of my terracotta pots and it's been there ever since and I'm like that's a brilliant idea why not get a bunch of these bowls and put them around instead of using these ugly things right so I just got two of them I only got two of them because that's all they had left in the clearance aisle 
um, and I would like to mix up the colors a little bit. So, so far, all of the lobels um, that I'm finding or collecting are like a blue color, but I did kind of want to do like a, like a, what am I trying to say? Like a, not quite mustard yellow, but like a burnt yellow, a version of burnt umber. What am I trying to say? Ochre, like ochre. That's, that's what the color is. It's ochre. It's like a burnt dijon -y, spicy mustard color. I wanted to do that and some of these and like just, just like eclectic colors that I'm finding in my apartment already in my artwork and just boho -y colors. Um, I want to mix them up. So, but anyways, for right now, I got two of these blue ones and there's the other one, right? So I'm going to put those, actually, let's do it right now. I want to do it right now. I want to see it. Okay. Boy, come on, Hope, let's get rid of this. Dirty plastic pot. Let's put something cuter there. I know this area needs to be handled, but that like fits perfect. I don't know if you can see, but that just looks so much nicer than those temporary plastic pots. Got my books here. Definitely could use I need to fix this area up but I don't know if you can tell or not but that look oh my knees in the way look doesn't that just look so much better like intentional right that's cute and so I want these like all over the place in like different colors Is she dry? What's her deal? I think she's dry. Yeah. <laughs> okay. I want to show you another example. Let's use Big Boy. Okay, let's use Big Boy as a better example. You can see him clear as day, right? I need both hands for him because he's big as hell and heavy. So I'm going to just lift him. Ooh. get rid of this replace it with this I already have like blue vibes going on here so this is like actually cute we're gonna put him back oh all right I don't understand how my speaker keeps turning on I don't know, you probably can't tell the difference, but I can tell and I love it. I love it. <sighs> yeah? It's cute. Anyways, those are the bowls, okay? So now, and then the last thing I did pick up for the trip, because I deserve to treat myself, okay? I'm going to share. I'm not going to eat this whole bag on my, my trip. I'm going to share. They're so good. These, the last time I had these was like over Christmas. And they are like so delicious. I don't even know how to explain it. But it's like a whole cookie. And then on the inside when you bite into it is like Nutella. And they're fucking yum. Yum, yum, yum. Perfect for tea and coffee. I'm going to try not to crack them open early. They're for the trip. All right, that's that. And lastly, I got some shoes. Definitely not. One pair of shoes was not in the plan. 
I had a whole plan and I was going to go to my favorite downtown Phoenix location to get said shoes, not these shoes, but just like the shoes that I had actually planned on getting. Um, but I came across these today and I had to have them. Now, when I pull these out and show you, I don't want to hear any lip, okay? I, I, I realize how unique these are. They match the uniqueness that is me. So keep your mean comments to yourself. I love them and they're so, they're like one of a kind. So I had to have them. They're by Dirty Laundry. This makes me so happy. I'm not taking these on the trip. No, no, that doesn't make any sense. This has nothing to do with the trip. I told you, I'm just curating my, my new wardrobe. I have not had a clog in forever since I was a child, I'm sure. Look how fucking beautiful these are. Like, I cannot wait for fall, like actual fall here in Arizona to happen so that I can wear these. How cute. And they're comfortable as hell. They're so comfortable. I tried them on and I fell in love. I don't say yes to many things at the drop of a hat very often. But I tried these on and saw these and I was like, hell yes, I'm getting them. So I did. Yay. So those are those. Is my neighbor being weird? Okay. I got, this was part of my plan and I've been going back and forth online about where I was going to get them. If I was just going to get the basic ones or if I was going to get the new geometric shaped with the neon insides that were $60. And I came across these. Like this is my first pair of Crocs ever. I always thought that they were mad ugly, which is why I've not had any until now. But I've seen people do them in really, really cute ways. And um, I usually see people traveling in Crocs. And I just think that they make sense for planes, for traveling, right? Even for car rides or just um, transportation. Um, they make sense. And like if you do it right, they can be cute. I know I didn't want white because ew, dingy Crocs, gross. I know I didn't want black because boring, right? Um, I told you I'm on my neutral tip and you can't, I don't know if you can tell very nicely that these are, I don't know, online they're called, I don't know if they're called mocha or coffee or what, but they're, they're not the beige ones. The beige ones are even lighter than this, um, but it's the next darker tan colored ones. So in real life, they're nice and they're